Hi, I'm Joel. I'm Sam. And I'm Chloe. And welcome to Learning, Learning from, from Scratch. Scratch! We're your Scratch professors from GovTech, and in this series of three videos, we're going to show you how to make some simple games with Scratch. By the end of the three videos, if you have watched us very carefully, you'll have a maze game to share with your friends. And you can tell your friends that you made it yourself. All right, let's get started. In the first lesson, I'm going to teach you the basics of programming and basics of Scratch. So Chloe and Sam... Don't worry, Chloe and Sam will be back in the lessons 2 and 3 to teach you more. In this video, I'll tell you a bit about what is programming and then show you the basics of using Scratch to make your game. So what is programming? Have you ever used any of these games, websites or apps? For example, have you played Fortnite with your friends? Or have you liked your friends' you know, photos on Instagram? Or have you used YouTube right, to search for videos? Have you ever wondered when you use these things, how do you make YouTube or Fortnite or Instagram? Well, the answer is that you make this using programming. And programming is how you make your computer do things. Right? You give instructions to your computer so your computer can do things for you. Now you may wonder who can do programming. Anyone can do programming and programming can be quite fun. Today we're going to learn how to program a game using Scratch. Now Scratch is a free programming tool that you can use on any computer and you can do programming without typing code and, but we're just dragging and dropping different code blocks. Now let's go to scratch.mit.edu to start with our Scratch game. So over here, I've gone to scratch.mit.edu and you can see the big button here where I can start creating my game. When I click that, wow, there's so many things that show up on the screen, right? We're going to go through them slowly one by one. Now on the left section here, that's the most important thing because here are all the code blocks. So what are code blocks? Well, code blocks are basically puzzle pieces and each of these puzzle pieces is an instruction that we can give to the objects in the game. For example, if you look over here, the blue code blocks allow you to move the objects around, right? And then the purple code blocks allow you to make the objects say things or change the way the objects look. Other ones can help the object make different kinds of sounds. There are all sorts of code blocks and these code blocks give you all the power of programming but just by dragging and dropping. So let's start by making the cat move. How do we do that? We just drag this move code block over there, just drag and drop. It's as simple as that. But you notice the cat isn't moving yet, right? So how do we get the cat to start moving? Well, we need an event to start the code block and to trigger the code block to happen. And if you look at the top of the event section, over here in the yellow section, you can see the event titled when green flag is clicked. Now the green flag is the button over here. And so that means when you click on the green flag, this code block will run. But the cat isn't moving yet, right? I'm clicking the green flag, but the cat isn't moving yet. Why is that? It's because I have to join this move 10 steps code block with the when green flag is clicked code block. And you look at when I join it over like this, it means that when the first code block runs, then the second code block will run after that. So when I click the green flag, look, my cat moves 10 steps. And that's the first step of my game. Now next, I want the cat to say something. And so I go over to looks, which is the purple section over here. And I can drag the first code block, which says, make the cat say hello for two seconds. And I can type something else in here. I can type, hello, meow, I am a yellow cat. And so now when I click the, yet, the green flag, the cat will move and then see what I typed. Now we can make the cat move and say things, but the cat is alone in the game and you know it's a pretty lonely game if it's only one cat in the game. So how do we have more characters in the game? That's where we have to learn about this thing called sprites. And if you look at the bottom right of the screen, this is where all the different sprites in the game are. So right now we only have one sprite, which is the cat. Sprites are basically images in the game that have a bit of code blocks attached to them. We have one sprite with the cat and we're going to create another sprite by clicking the green button in the bottom right. Here we can choose another sprite. There are all sorts of different sprites. There are animals, there are people, different kinds of food even. We're going to choose a dog to add to the game. So over here, I scroll down and I choose this space dog. 
So now you notice there are two different sprites and each of these sprites, if I click on them, there's different code blocks that then show on the screen because each of the sprites is controlled by different code blocks. So the cat, when the green flag is clicked, the cat will move 10 steps and then say, Mel, I am a yellow cat. But you notice the dog doesn't do anything. So how do we make the dog do things? We drag code blocks, just like we did with the cat, we drag over the code blocks that will make the dog do things. So I want the dog to move and I want the dog to also talk. I can even drag a sound to make the dog bark. And so over here, you can see now when I click the green flag, what's going to happen is the dog is going to do its code blocks and then the cat is also going to perform its code block at the same time. And so let's try the game out. Cool, now you have the beginnings of the story, right? Where your dog and cat can do things. Great. So in this lesson, you've learned a bit about programming and you've also learned how to use Scratch, right? All the different code blocks and having different sprites on the screen. In the next lesson, Chloe is going to teach you a bit more about how do you control these sprites using your keyboard. See you next time.